what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so over the past couple of days there's been some potential rumors leaks speculation that have been getting sent to this instagram page i don't know how to pronounce it i really don't know how to pronounce it it's spelled d-e-u-x-m-o-i if you're familiar with that you know that they send like these form submissions with i have t there's been a lot of submissions about screen five some potential rumors leaks other things that may or may not be true so if you don't want any potential spoilers i guess click away but i'm gonna go down the list of what is here what people are saying is confirmation now i will say one of the things has to do with like potential new artist that could be in the film or featured in the film so just to jump right on into things because honestly when i read this i'm like okay yeah this is exciting but someone else said this someone else said that and it's just like what else is new here i i just don't i don't get that really uh so jumping right on into things so one of the very first things it says like a lot of people are wondering is the message says a lot of people are wondering about the new screen movie and this person is saying they can say a couple of things one don't get attached to anyone just like the others literally um, there's some surprising kills apparently they're going to set it up for a sequel number two number three it has a similar vibe to the first and second installments the OGs, Nev, Courtney, and David give their best performances in this one. Number five, a really popular new artist recorded a song for the credits. She shares a name with a popular friend's character. Number six, the post-production team is taking their time with the editing process because they have multiple endings to work with. Now, somebody came back to kind of confirm something regarding this. They submitted that... Uh, the last two are in fact correct i'm actually involved in all movies coming out of paramount pictures i will say that there's actually three new yet successful artists in play for music usage from this film and then another thing got submitted talking about the audition process and how there's multiple scripts that have been written up and how nobody really had the same draft to protect the ending this is stating Someone stated, this is also correct. I've seen dailies, but we are creating a teaser and can't even get a copy of the script or full feature footage. What we are given is heavily watermarked. I will say that what what I've seen is amazing and Nev and Courtney are giving it their all. This is par this par this Paramount is banking on this franchise to revive their expected struggling 2021 revenue and 2022 movie slate. Anticipate there being little to no leaks about this film. So, again, not really anything too specific i hope a lot of you did not click away uh from the video because it really wasn't that wasn't that juicy but like just going over this so like number one don't get attached to anyone okay same thing with the other ones uh i already expect that the two characters that will be sticking around for sure will be tara and sam now if one of them dies that's probably the, su the surprise if one of them dies it's probably a surprise maybe one of the meek's children or Ne Meeks, nieces, nephew, whoever, uh, Chad or Mindy, one of them will stick around. And then number two, saying they're going to set it up for a sequel. This will probably be the first, not even probably, this would in fact be the first Scream movie that sets, that would be setting itself up for such a thing. Now, Scream 3 ended with the intent of saying the room, the door is always open for more, but that was also kind of like a just kind of like in reference to the fact that Sydney is now free from all of this she can finally let it go because everything that was haunting her that dealt with her mother has been put to bed now that she knows what the overall central conflict was stemming with her mother so this would be the first time a screen film would be purposely setting up a sequel I believe they were going to do that with Scream 2 with Ghostface in the top of the tower watching Sydney but that got cut I'm glad it actually did got cut but like all of the screen films they never flat out just ended with this with the intent of saying hey we're gonna have a sequel and then number three it has a similar vibe to the first and second installments definitely excited for that if that's the case because the first and second films are considered the best so i definitely can't wait to see that and then the ogs giving it their all 
Michael Kennedy, I believe is his name, the writer of Freaky, he said the same thing. He said Scream, the Scream script is one of the best scripts he read last year. He also said that, you know, it was a very, very good script and he's just excited for us to see it. Um, and then I think he also said this is the this is the best use of the trio since Scream 2 in his words. That's what he said. The writer of Freaky said that himself. So not really surprised by that. And then number five, like a really popular new artist recorded a song for the credits. She shares a name with a popular Friends character. Now, if we're talking about the Friends TV show, the hit popular artist that I can think of is I, I, I can't remember her last name. But if you, you know who I'm talking about, her her name is Phoebe. She shares the name of that Friends character. She I've heard a few of her songs. She's very talented. Um, I can only see that being her. Maybe Sonya has a song in it, too, because I believe Sonya has some type of um, musical talent as well. She has some discography. And then the post-production team is apparently taking their time with the editing process because they have multiple endings to work with. Not shocking there either. Not shocking there either. Uh, one thing I wanted to go over, though, was the fact that they say that they are working on creating a teaser and they can't even get a copy of the script or full feature footage. So they're kind of going into overdrive with wanting to keep this film under lock and key and protecting it from leaks. And it's easy to understand that when you consider what happened with four, three, and all the other subsequent sequels that came after the original. So it's not that shocking that this is going on with screen five. So I honestly am not overly impressed with this stuff that came out. Um, I think it was quite interesting and gave me a lot to consider and wonder and i just wanted to share my thoughts on it in this video with you guys uh the most exciting thing i think i got from that was the fact that it's going to be similar to the first and second installments scream one and scream two are literally the best of the franchise so if you mesh those vibes well together and you get like the perfect love child scream five would easily jump over screen four and become the third best in the franchise so let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below and that whole thing not getting attached to characters again not shocking whatsoever i hope they keep some other people around other than the carpenters because they need that let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video